How do you build your situational awareness to give you a thorough mental picture of the types of convective weather that you want to avoid? Thunderstorms are a significant threat to aviation and must be circumnavigated to ensure flight safety. You must understand how available weather products function, as well as their limitations, to effectively use these resources. Here, we'll discuss the differences between composite reflectivity and base reflectivity, as well as how to best interpret them on your weather page. NEXRAD, or Next Generation Radar, is an extensive network of high-resolution Doppler radar ground sites operated by the National Weather Service. As the NEXRAD radar sweeps through 360 azimuth degrees, it sends out beams, or pulses, using multiple antenna tilt angles. It sweeps through various elevations to determine the highest decibel value. This is measured in decibels of Z, or dBZ, and indicates the amount of transmitted power returned to the radar receiver. You can use the colors on the legend to identify the different NEXRAD echo intensities, or reflectivity. Notice that red indicates higher reflectivity, while lighter green indicates lower reflectivity. Areas shown in gray indicate radar data is not available in that area. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of base and composite reflectivity. Base reflectivity is the scan from the lowest tilt angle and typically indicates precipitation falling close to the ground and tends to match up with what you see out the windscreen. This information would be especially useful when flying below 10,000 feet. But be aware that base reflectivity could possibly miss weather at higher altitudes and longer ranges. When the low scan goes out 200 miles, the beam will be centered at much higher altitudes and could possibly miss a storm. By comparison, composite reflectivity will reflect a composite of stronger radar returns, regardless of altitude. Because composite reflectivity includes scans at high altitudes, it can detect ice crystals that may indicate a storm anvil. Whether viewing base or composite reflectivity, data is stitched together from multiple sites to give you a comprehensive radar mosaic. Display intensity levels will vary between different systems. Also, color schemes are not directly compatible with airborne weather radar, but you can use the two products concurrently. Please keep in mind that NEXRAD data is not real-time weather information, and what you see out of your cockpit may differ from what's showing on your screen. The lapsed time between collection, processing, and dissemination of NEXRAD images can be significant, and the data you see may not reflect the current location of cells. NEXRAD information can be as much as 15 minutes old by the time it gets to you. Because of this, NEXRAD should be used as a strategic planning tool to avoid areas with strong return showing. Never use NEXRAD data to maneuver in or between areas of hazardous weather. Also be aware that NEXRAD does not provide enough information to determine cloud layers or exact precipitation characteristics and will not depict storms directly over the radar site. Certain types of weather reflect radar energy better than others. Wet hail could return a strong radar reflection, while dry hail would not. But both are extremely hazardous. Be sure to reference your pilot guide for additional information and see Garmin's Aviation Weather Radar course to develop a comprehensive understanding of how NEXRAD and airborne weather radar systems are employed in tandem. <laughs>